Sheldon, these are the heads of my research uh, team. Hello. Uh, Dr. Zane, Dr. Harris, this is my fiance, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. That's the first time I've said that, and it kind of gave me the goosebumps. <laughs> Dr. Cooper, we are so excited to meet you. Oh, that's very kind of you. But if you'd like, I could autograph your menus after dinner. Yeah. But I better not see those on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're, we're just excited to meet the man who landed this brilliant woman here. Oh, that wasn't hard. She threw herself at me. <laughs> now, getting the universe to show me its naughty bits, that, that took some doing. <laughs> Sheldon's a physicist. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Amy, I recently read your paper on lesions in the olfactory receptors in the brain. It was inspired. Oh, well, I guess it didn't stink. But if it did, that rat wouldn't have known it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to a bunch of work talk. Oh, no, I love it. Yeah, but let's talk about work. Amy's work, my work. Yeah, why don't we start with my work? <laughs> Actually, I do have a question for Dr. Cooper. When Amy first told you about her approach to synaptic tracing, did you think it was gonna revolutionize the field? Uh, do really? That's your question? What are you, entertainment tonight? <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna give you a better question. Here, um, Dr. Cooper, I heard you were working on a top secret project for the US military. Why don't you tell us about that? See, that's a great question. Okay, what was that like? Oh, I can't tell you that is top secret. How you wanted to see me? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about the email you sent me last night. I sent you an email? You bet you did. <laughs> Hello, shalom and aloha from the grave of Richard Feynman. Oh, it's coming back to me. Please accept the following retraction. I know I said physics is dead, but it is the opposite of dead. If anything, it is undead, like a zombie. <laughs> Speaking of which, if Richard Feynman came back as a zombie, I would totally let him bite me. Any chance that's the end? I got bit by a squirrel once. <laughs> I had to get rabies shots. I cried so much. My mother said, don't be a baby. In conclusion, physics is great. Squirrels suck, and someday, I'm gonna put my mom in a cheap nursing home. <laughs> Yours truly, XOXO, Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. No, I, I can explain. I... P.S. <laughs> can you come pick us up? The Uber driver won't open the door because Sheldon is covered in blue vomit. Oh, I don't care. You know me, I just go with the flow. Beach, public pool, they both sound awesome. <laughs> On second thought, beach. I'd like to befriend a seagull. That is crazy. Yeah. Will you email that to me? <laughs> Have you played this for him? No, I'm worried he'll say I violated his privacy. Listen to how happy he sounds. I'm up for anything, as long as I'm with you. What are you listening to? Nothing. Oh, come on, I want to hear. We don't need GPS. Let's just see where the road takes us. I see why you turned it off. That guy sounds like an idiot. Honey, that's you. Don't be silly. My voice is deep and sonorous. Like a Caucasian James Earl Jones. <laughs> Luke, I am your father, see? It is you. I recorded you in your sleep. Oh, look, a hitchhiker. I bet he has some interesting stories. <laughs> That's me? It's you. So you spied on me in my sleep? Sheldon, I'm sorry. You've been doing this every night. I couldn't help but wonder if it meant something. Well, it doesn't. Well, are you sure? I mean, the prefrontal cortex regulates impulse control, so it's plausible that when we're asleep, aspects of our personality that we repress might come out. Don't try to put science lipstick on your new age pig. <laughs> and for the record, you make noises when you sleep, and I've never accused you of repressing your inner chainsaw. If you want me to object at your wedding, just give me one of these. I just wish I could make Howard feel as angry as I'm feeling. 
Well, maybe you could do something he likes and make him jealous. Like what? You ever read Tom Sawyer? No. Chores. He likes chores. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of chores? Well, you could change the batteries and the smoke detectors. That would drive him crazy. That's great. Oh, he'll be so mad, smoke will be coming out of his ears. Yeah, then the smoke detectors will detect it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why did you ask me about Tom Sawyer? I'm just interested in you. What? You are sweeter than your applesauce. <laughs> okay, I put new batteries in the smoke detectors. Did you do the laundry? I sure did. Ooh, he's gonna be steamed. <laughs> Just like his dress shirts. At least he could still clean the oven, so that's something. Oh, that's what he thinks. Where's your steel wool? Right here. <laughs> we make quite the team. Sure do. Okay, you ready? Yeah, almost. I'm working on my facial expressions. See, uh, I've got interested. Hmm. I've got very interested. Mm. And, uh, enraged. Why would you be enraged? Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Okay. And rolling. Hello, I am theoretical physicist Dr. Sheldon Cooper, auditioning for the role of Professor Proton. Now, excuse me while I get into character. Hello, I'm Professor Proton. <laughs> and today, boys and girls, we're going to have fun with science. Did you know you could calculate the mass of an electron using household items? It's true. All you'll need is a pencil, some paper, dry ice, rubbing alcohol, and a spool of 50 micron thick cobalt 60 wire. <laughs> and remember, don't put it in your mouth. Or instead of becoming a scientist, you'll become wildly radioactive. <laughs> Hang on, I have a question. Do you have any experiments that aren't life-threatening? Oh, come on. That was a perfect take and you ruined it. <laughs> oh, look, hey, I did need enraged. <laughs> oh, boy. What? They cast the new Professor Proton. Is it Sheldon? Not exactly. Wheaton! It's Will Wheaton. <laughs> I don't. Again, how you can enjoy cricket, it makes no sense. Did you just come here to complain? Yeah, that's the sport of my people. <laughs> oh, that's Ravi Chandran Ashwin, he's amazing. He makes Hardik Pandya look like Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 save some syllables for the rest of us. <laughs> hey, I think that's Bernadette's friend over there. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, Ruchi. I, I hope this isn't awkward. The last time we met, I kind of embarrassed myself. Well, let's see if you can go two for two. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Are you here by yourself? Yeah, I couldn't convince anyone to come watch cricket with me. <laughs> Tell me about it. I had to drag this guy. You're more than welcome to join us, if you'd like. Thanks. Oh. What'd she say? Uske tang pe ball kar. Oh, that clears that up. She's telling the bowler to bowl a Yorker. It's the most brutal ball in cricket. I was at the match when Shobh bowled back-to-back -back Yorkers. Well, I was there too. What a coincidence. Well, there were 120,000 people at that match, so... <laughs> yeah, India, right? Everywhere you go, there's like 120,000 people. <laughs> so what do you think of our chances at the World Cup? Oh, uh, World Cup. You know, it'll all depend if Kohli's batting in form. I know. It doesn't even matter how many all-rounders you have. Isn't that the truth? You know, I was the best leg spinner in my high school. Yeah, like, I bowled the meanest googly. Speaking of googlies, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Before Sheldon gets here? Last time we did that, he didn't talk to us for a month. So do it. <laughs> Where is he? Well, according to his text, he was on the second floor, then he stopped to tie his shoe. <laughs> All tied, and... Hello! Hi! Sorry we're late. Amy took forever tying my shoe. <laughs> All right, who's excited to see a documentary? Oh, I know this one. Nobody, ever. 
Hey, this one's going to be great. This is about the rivalry between a cool renegade scientist, Nikola Tesla, and his arch nemesis, Thomas Edison. It's the greatest scientific feud of all time. I mean, you can forget about Leibniz and Newton. Done. So, <laughs> Tesla's the one that invented the electric car? <laughs> <laughs> no, Penny, no. The car is just named after him. Okay, you don't have to be so smug about it. You know, you went to see the movie It because you thought it was about scary IT guys. <laughs> Tesla was a genius who invented our electrical grid. Edison just wanted to get rich and famous. Didn't he invent the light bulb? Mm, that's what he wants you to think. But without the foundational work of Ebenezer Kennersley, Warren De La Rue, and James Bowman Lindsay, you wouldn't know Edison any more than you know Ebenezer Kennersley, Warren De La Rue, or James Bowman Lindsay. Isn't he sexy all fired up? <laughs> he really gets my current alternating, if you know what I mean. Edison was kind of a publicity hog and a bully. Yeah, he electrocuted an elephant named Topsy just to make himself famous. If I had an elephant named Topsy, he would want for nothing. <laughs> also, he'd be named Jumbo. Oh, and worse than that, Edison filmed the first on-screen kiss, so he's basically a pornographer. <laughs> Although, every time I put that in Wikipedia, someone takes it out. Is your current still alternating? We're lucky there aren't any elephants in here. Hello, Leonard. I was gonna write you an email, but I'm a little drunk and spelling is a sober person's game, so. <laughs> I feel I owe you a explanation. I, I'm sorry. A splanation. Penny, Penny, Penny. Sheldon, go away, I'm making a video. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll come back when you're alone. <laughs> Telling Leonard why I broke up with him. Oh, he knows. The, the video I want to see is why you went out with him in the first place. I went out with him because he's great. If I kept going out with him, I probably would have married him. And I, it's a little scary because I just don't think I'm ready for that. You know, plus I have got to learn how to spell Hofstetter. <laughs> I, I know there's a D in there, but it keeps moving every time I try and write it. <laughs> Tell them, what do I do? Wait, try to pass out face down so you don't choke on your vomit. I am not going to pass out. <laughs> but thank you anyway. Wow. I know. There's like two more hours of her just lying there. Oh, you love me so much. I married you, jackass. Yeah, I, I know, and not just out of pity, like everyone said at her wedding toast. No. You want to see the part where she falls off the chair? Totally. No. <laughs> want to grab some lunch? You know what? I don't think so. Well, let me guess, you're not eating because the mean girls circled your chubby bits and marker. No, that, that right there, that's the reason. You're always making fun of me. <laughs> well, those are just jokes. It's my way of saying that we're friends and it wouldn't hurt you to drop a few. <laughs> See, no wonder I don't have any confidence. Come on, you can't blame that on me. Why not? 15 years of constant ridicule. I, I think our relationship has become toxic. What are you saying? I think you and I need to spend some time away from each other. Look, I, I can see you're upset, but I'm gonna need some ground rules. While we're apart, can I see other needy Indian men? Get 